In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use paint code to create dynamic parametric drawings that you can easily use on your website. Specifically, we will use paint code to generate a JavaScript code that will display two rotating gears. Paint code is a full featured vector drawing app. You can draw your graphics directly in paint code, or you can import your existing vector drawings from PDF, Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, or SVG documents. Today, I'll be drawing the gears directly in paint code. First, I'll draw a star, like this. I can also increase the number of sides to, let's say, 20. Okay. Let's add an oval. Now, I'll use the built-in union boolean operation to make a single combined shape. Let's create another oval. And this time, I will use the intersection boolean operation. This already looks a bit like a gear. I'll just add one hole to make it even better. This time, I'll use the difference boolean operation. Let's speed this up a bit. So we have two gears now. Let's add some color to this illustration. So I'll add a nice blue color here and connect it to the fill attribute of this shape. And I'll add another color, and it will be based on the color I just created. But I'll make it a slightly lighter shade of blue and use it for the other gear, like this. Okay. Now I'll show you something that you cannot do in other drawing apps. I'll add variables and expressions into this paint code drawing to make it parametric. We have separate in-depth tutorials about variables and expressions, so watch those if you'd like to know more. I'll speed this up a bit. Done. When I change the angle variable, both gears now rotate. It works really well. Now let me show you how to put this on your website. Paint code turns your drawings into code. In this case, we will be converting our drawing into JavaScript code. It works like this. Paint code will export a single JavaScript code file for you, and we call this file StyleKit. If you switch to the Style Kit tab in Paint Code, you can see a summary of everything that will go into your exported Style Kit code. So, this file contains code for all drawings that are in your Paint Code document. In this case, the only drawing in our document is the gear drawing we've drawn. Right now, it's called Canvas 1, so I'll rename it. I'll go here and rename the Canvas Gears, like this. I can return to the Style Kit tab, and you can see the canvas is now named Gears. On the right are some important style kit settings. Here is the name of the style kit. We'll use the name Gear Style Kit. You can also fill out the other metadata. Finally, let's look at the generated code. This code on the left is actually the generated style kit JavaScript file. The code works like this. It creates a single JavaScript object with the same name as your named style kit. Here it is called Gear Style Kit. And this is the object you will use on your website after you import the JavaScript style kit file. At the top of this file, you will find this documentation section, which informs you about every available thing or method. It describes the public API of the style kit. So in this case, we see that the gear style kit object has the draw gears method available. This actually corresponds to the canvas we've drawn. This is something we can use on the website when we import the JavaScript file. There are also some utilities available in StyleKit that will be useful later. You can also add colors, gradients, shadows, and other things to your StyleKit. To learn more about that, please see our standalone StyleKits tutorial. Now, let's see how you would actually use this. The code on the right here is a very small example of HTML code that uses the StyleKit. We will return to this in a moment. Let's export the StyleKit by clicking on the Export button here. Everything looks okay, so I'll just confirm this and export the StyleKit JavaScript file to desktop. I have already prepared the index.html file here. Let's look inside. It's actually the example HTML code you saw in paint code. So the HTML file is very simple with only a single canvas element that we will draw into. 
At the beginning, we'll simply import the JavaScript file that we exported from PaintCode. So we import that here, and as the site loads, we simply call gearstylekit.drawgears into the main canvas with angle zero. Let's see how that works. I'll just launch the site, and you can see the gears already rendered here. Let's make this more interesting. I'll go back to the HTML file and add some interactions so we can see the gears move. I'll add a range or slider element here, like this. We'll make this interactive by adding another piece of JavaScript. Now, let's make sure that something gets called when we move the slider. And here, we simply call the draw gears method. The second argument is the angle of the gears. We will use the value of the slider, like this. Now, if we just ran this, it wouldn't work out properly yet. We actually have to erase the content of the canvas before drawing into it again. Otherwise, it would just accumulate all drawings. To erase the content, I'll simply call the clear canvas method. This is a utility method that is available in every style kit that you export. Okay, I'll save this and go back to Safari. Refresh the website, and now we should be able to play with... <laughs> it works perfectly. Let me show you a very powerful feature of paint code. We can go back at any time and change your drawing. In this case, I will change the color to something like this nice green here. And then we can simply go back to Style Kit and click Export again. Or we can go to File and pick Export again from the menu. Or press Command R and it will overwrite the previous Style Kit with the new one. And now when we return to Safari and refresh this, the gears are green and everything still works as it should. This is a crucial point. You can replace the Style Kit file at any time. You never have to alter the generated code by hand. You need only use its public interface. In that way, when your graphics change, you simply re-export the style kit, and you don't have to make any changes in your code. Finally, let me show you a much more advanced example of all this. I have an emoji here, which has been designed to have its happiness parametric. When I change the value of this happiness variable, the face changes automatically. And here it is working on a website. Something like this would be very hard to achieve without paint code. So, that's the JavaScript export from paint code. If you wish, you can download the example project from our website. Thanks for watching.